Welcome back to the good, the bad, and the ugly, and today is Hyperion Shields, but uh, more specifically, the bees. So, I was going to combine this with some other shields, but uh, I decided not to, since there's a lot to talk about with the bee, and I was planning on doing a series with the bee anyway, so I decided to use this as my kickoff for that. Now... The B is, as we know, the only Hyperion Legendary shield in the game, and a Legendary Amp shield. Here I have the Inflammable, um, one part Torg, because you have to, uh, one part Hyperion, and a Maliwan Capacitor. Which makes it Inflammable, and this is the, the version with the most Amp damage. Now, to compare this to a regular Amp shield, the possible. same parts, as you can see here, a regular amp shield has a lot more capacity, a slower recharge rate, a much better delay, way less, like a third almost, of the amp damage, and it's got an amp shot drain, and that's the special thing with the B, there is no drain. So you can constantly shoot as long as you keep your shield full. And that's the trick. Now, we all know the B was nerfed. And the B nerf was fairly controversial. Uh, a lot of people were really pissed about it, and I guess I should go over what the nerf was. So, the B nerf... The original B worked with multi-pellet guns so that every pellet got that full amp damage. So things like quads or anything with a lot of pellets was just so much better because you know, the twister here that has 19 pellets would get that full amp damage 19 times. That was broken, so they fixed that. Uh, a lot of people bitched because they can no longer just pretty much one-shot Terra, and it made the game hard for them, but they just ran around with a glitched item that uh, wasn't really good. So, a lot of people were pissed about that. They said they could no longer play the game and stuff. Uh, I, I think that's a bunch of shit because... The B is still ridiculously powerful. I mean, look at this damage it adds. Uh, 1,825,000. Your base damage of most of these guns, I mean, even snipers in the Becca, which have high base damage, 600,000. This is 1.8 million, three times that. So, no. The B is still ridiculously powerful. And it still has synergy with unlisted pellets, where they each get it. Um, it's just with listed pellets, it doesn't, but to get the amp damage times 19 on a twister, that would be so fucking dumb. It's just broken as fuck, so they needed to do it. Um, it they also changed the sh stats a little bit on it. The original B had uh, a lower recharge delay, uh, similar to a regular amp shield. And I think that was a good move, too. Uh, you should be punished if you have something this powerful if you get hit. Uh, I, I think the high delay on it makes sense. So, the other parts is I wanted to go over what exactly is amp damage and how does it work within the formula. And when I go into my series about this, I'm going to do a video with each character and how good or bad they are with the B. Because certain characters have different synergies with the B. Now, amp damage holds its own place in the damage formula, which I'm going to put in an annotation up in the left corner here. So, normally on your gun damage formula, you get your gun's base damage, which in the case of the Becca here is 662,641. Then you multiply that by all your additive bonuses added up, which I'll show in that formula up above. So, let me just take off the B. The bone isn't going to help it, but I'll take that off. Anyways, I have zero skill points, zero common, zero bar. So, 298. I'm an OP8. That's with the damage reduction. Damn it. Alright, welcome back. So now I'm in OP0. Um, sorry about that mix-up. So this will be easier to kind of show the testing and the numbers. So, 662k. 662. That is correct. Now, 
if I add so much to learn. accelerate which gives me 15% more gun damage. I should get 662 times 15%. And as you can see in the formula above, that is 762k. Now, if I throw on the B, and shoot him, 2,587,000. Now, if you look up above once again, you'll see that this is the gun damage times accelerate plus the amp damage. So the amp damage is not getting multiplied by accelerate. Now if I go here, actually if I just shoot a crit and hit him, you see 8,928,000. Now you'll see this is your gun damage times accelerate, plus the amp damage, times 2, times the type A crit bonus from Jacobs, times the type B. So, critical hit buffs do multiply amp damage, but additive gun damage and body shot do not amplify the amp damage. So, you want... Crit buffs are good for the B, additive buffs do nothing for the B. Now there is also elemental buffs, which I will switch to a fire weapon in a second here, but uh, you also have special multipliers. Now I'm going to shoot him again, 3,623,000. And now if you look up in the formula I'm going to have posted up there as well, you will see the difference that uh, the special multipliers do do it. So on here you have gun damage times the additive buff of accelerate plus the amp damage times reaper. So reaper does multiply the amp damage. It comes post amp damage in the formula. So characters with special multipliers work well. Now you will see here when I shoot him in the head 12,499,000 this is amp damage, or sorry, gun damage, times your additive buff of accelerate, times 2, times a Jacobs type A, times a Jacobs type B, times Reaper. So now the amp damage is getting multiplied technically four times. It's times 2, times 1.5, times 1.15, and times 1.4. And now you're getting a lot out of the amp damage. So this, that's how the amp damage formula works, and, and all the characters are going to be going through their skills and how they work, and I'll dive deeper into Maya's there. Um, the other thing is, I should do, let's see, I do have this, do I have a shock one? Hmm, should probably be easier with the hail. So the other thing... So you can see there, uh, splash damage comes in post uh, amp as well. So what you'll have here, let's see if I can hit that crit again. I'm going to show both formulas. Uh, you have gun damage times accelerate plus amp damage. And in the case of the crit, times 2, uh, there it times your type A bonus, divided by your type C bonus of the assault rifles, the 1.2, plus the gun damage, times accelerate, plus amp damage, times splash damage. So the splash gets the amp as well. And right here you can kind of see that if I shoot to the side of him, you see that one... 1686. So if you take this number, 2,400, 245,000, 245, that's right, times 1.5 plus 1,825,860 times point, 
8, which is the hail splash damage, that's the number you come up with and you will again see that up above. And then the other thing that does affect it is just matching elements. So here, once again on that single shot, you're seeing 900, sorry, 9,480,000. And that formula will also be above, so you can see how that damage, uh, uh, the elemental matching bonus, also comes post amp to remultiply it. So there are a bunch of ways to remultiply amp damage. And this is what I'm going to be going through with all the characters and kind of do you use the B or do you not use the B, but also go through other skills that affect the B. Because the trick with the B with that long delay is can you keep the B shield up and can you recharge it fast enough and can you survive because you are so squishy with the B. So these are all things to consider with uh, the B shield. And I uh, hope you guys found this informative, and uh, I will be doing six more videos on the B. Um, I hope I was pretty clear on how all the, the damage formula works with it and everything combined, so that you guys can see the, the actual math behind the B. I guess before I go, I should cover the one last thing is... So, you see this 3.6 million. Now if I back up to the split, see that second number, 10.8, which is 3.6 times 3, that's all three of those extra pellets hitting, it does work with unlisted pellets still. So the Becca shoots one pellet and then it falls up with three more pellets, so you hit with a total of four. So the Becca, I'm getting amp times four. If I hit him in the head, you get... It looks like all those landed there. Way more than that, because you get the critical hits multiplying the amp. So the B is still somewhat broken with unlisted pellets, but there are no really times 20 unlisted pellets guns. I guess the only one that could kind of get up to that range is uh, the Flacker. Well, no, the Flacker, I think, just at most gets amp times 10, which might be the most you get with the B. So there are none like uh, the quads and stuff that are broken quite like before, but uh, it's still very, very broken. So anyways, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys appreciate it. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and I will see you later. Bye.